Okay, so I'm back and before the video started, it's greatly appreciated when you interact. So please like, comment, and subscribe. So I was gone for about five, six days. I went on like this little vacation, came back sick. Why does that keep happening? I don't know. But I'm back now. I watched the episode. I have some thoughts. So y'all all know this beach scene because like that was basically that meant the whole episode. It felt like you know, have you ever had a dream where like weird shit just keep happening and there's no explanation to what's happening? It's just happening and like you're not really questioning it. That's kind of what it felt like. It was too much happening. It was like three fights happening at the same time. It, it, too much. Yeah, you don't, you can't hear shit. You can't understand shit. Too, the, the girls is doing too much. There was no organization. They introduced these girls in the dark. It's dark outside. Why would you introduce these girls? On top of that, why would you introduce these girls? They are replacements. Shouldn't they only be here? To replace someone. It's like, why are all the replacements here? Nah, it's just like, uh, we don't want you here. It's just that it's a whole bunch of girls in this cast already. And y'all bringing in five new girls in the dark. We don't even know who's fighting. Like, who is this girl getting her ass beat? Nobody knows. Then they all got confessionals, right? So every time a new one pop up, it's like, who the fuck is that? Who is that? We got Mariah. She acting like she got smoked with Kylie. Out in my head, I'm like, oh my God, Mariah, she about to beat you, babe. Don't, you don't want to do that. Like, when I say it was a lot happening, it was a lot happening. That happened. Um, Gretchen, she came out of nowhere arguing with somebody. Then she said nigga again. Jayla ran up but didn't do anything. Just stood. It's a lot happening that don't make no sense. Um, uh, mind you, they came in like they were superheroes. The, the new girls, like the way they was walking in, like, you know. So I'm thinking it's supposed to be them versus this old girl, right? So Jelly Bean, she turned, she walked in with Callie, right? Callie and I was supposed to be over there. I don't know. Anyway, she walked in with Callie, turned around, hit Callie. It was like, what the fuck? Hit Callie, ended up getting her ass beat. I mean, bad, right? Um... Callie kicked her in her stomach. I'm pretty, that shit had to knock the wind out of that girl. Then she did like this slide uppercut type of move, right? Jelly Bean said she hit Callie because Callie beefed with Natalie. She was defending Natalie. But then you getting beat the fuck up and the friend that you started this fight for not helping you. Make it make sense. You fighting for Natalie because she your friend. Why isn't Natalie fighting for you? Do you do you feel stupid? Bianca and Heaven Marina, they fought. It was a what? That stupid ass fight. But J.O. And Meatball, uh, Meatball ran up on J.O. Not gonna lie, the fight was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I do think J.O., overall, she took that. Her punches just seemed, like, more powerful to me. Sorry, I'm just saying. And don't get me wrong, it's still Team Meatball. I can't remember who else fought. It was a lot happening. No type of organization. I'm trying to think. I'm pretty sure it was more fights. I don't know. I don't know. But, well, let's talk about the previews for the next. Okay. Tommy came um, on a white horse after all that chaos. I, like I just said, I told y'all this shit was like a dream that you can't explain. You don't, It's like you don't know what's happening. She came on the horse, everybody quiet and confused. It's like, n now y'all confused? After all the shit that just happened, this is where y'all draw the line at? A horse? Now, um, Natalie definitely had that little vape in her hand while she was fighting. Don't know why they did not take that out of her head. But the, the clips that we saying, it don't really look like Tommy was losing that shit. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not. I'm, I'm not sorry at all. It didn't really look like Natalie was winning that, but that wasn't the whole fight, okay? Then for the previews on the next episode, Meatball, she pressing Jayla. She like, why did you bully Biggie? Bully somebody bigger. People said Jayla looked scared. She did not look scared to me. It, to me, it didn't really look like she took the shit serious. Another thing I seen was Tasiki versus the Jelly Bean thing. They was arguing on the beach. And guess who hit Jelly Bean? Not Tasiki. It was Mariah. Not gonna lie, that shit pissed me off. First of all, this whole situation, in my opinion, dumb as hell. And then Mariah is like, what did you hit her for? Hmm? What did you hit her for? Because your actual friend came in fighting for you and you ain't do shit. She getting, she getting beat up, kinda. You ain't help shit, but you wanna go help the person who don't need help? One of the last people in this whole cast that don't need help fighting, you keep jumping in her fight. So fuck the friend that came in defending you because you got done dirty last season. You didn't help her. She was losing that fight. All them rounds, she lost that. But you want to help Tasiki. Tasiki. Tasiki don't need help fighting nobody, boo. Nobody. And I know it's it's it's, it's like a Bianca hate train kind of building up right now. And I am not on it. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I don't see where she's wrong at yet. Actually, actually, I take that back. The only thing I could say she was wrong at was when Mariah is under the impression that she about to fight Asian though with Bianca and the whole time her and Bianca made up. But if you think about it, Mariah just did that same shit to Bianca. So it kind of even out. Now, other than that, what else did she do? Bianca came and fighting Sapphire, but the way Mariah was talking in the text messages, it sounded like it was still smoke. This whole Mariah versus Bianca thing, I'm still team Bianca. I'm sorry. Like, it just don't make sense to me. You help it to seek you. You the one said to eat her herself, you know, because your head was up her ass, but you won't help your friend that don't know how to fight. You helping a friend that do know how to fight, but not helping a friend that don't. What? Anywho, onto the actual tea. Okay, I'm going to put a timestamp. Okay, so Jayla and Camila, they've been arguing on Twitter for about the past four days. 
four days, y'all. Like, they'll argue hours ago past, and sometimes even into the next day, and then boom, one of them will say something again, started back. It's been happening for days now. So let's start from the beginning of all this stuff, okay? So it started with the whole Gretch saying the N-word, that situation, you know. So Camila, she started saying, y'all, Puerto Ricans have African descent in them. Y'all have to learn before you speak, okay? And then... Jayla, she responded, she said, yes, but we also know the difference between race, nationality, and ethnicity. It's not the same. Now, that response made it to the blogs and stuff like that. Jayla, she made a comment saying, oh, and it's descent, not decent. Thanks for joining my TED Talk. She said that because Camila said decent instead of descent, yeah. Camila said, please, don't try to school me with a typo. Now, come on. Now, when you getting verbally abused and retracting them statements, I know what the F is going on behind those closed doors. Don't do the sassy shit with me. We're not even talking about the N-word no more. Like, this conversation took a hard turn. Like, hard. Camila said, I'm not about to argue with a girl that has to bow down to a man that weigh 90 pounds, if that. The F. Jayla, you can't little dog me, sis. Be funny with the mother F is treating you like shit over there. I ain't your enemy. Okay. Someone said, Camila, no. Y'all are too much alike, too beef. The fans don't want it. Camila said, I don't have beef with anyone. I just said what I said. Okay. So, remember the, like, the hard turn we took earlier? It got worse, okay? So, Jayla, she said, bitch, fuck you, ho. You tried to school me and it didn't work. You're so opinionated and clearly you don't know what you're talking about. Don't speak when people needed to learn and you have grammatical errors. I literally don't bother you. I checked you, period. Camila said, bitch, you wouldn't check me? What you so angry for? Girl, have fun with the typo. You hoes can't find nothing else. You a little dog that gotta bow down to the master. Shut the F up and go do your job. Camila said, I'm just gonna laugh because stuff too funny out here. Check your mama, not me, sis. Okay? Then she said, why would I say something? People always in their feelings. It's a thousand people commenting, but when I say my opinion, everybody mad or bother. It's never that deep. Y'all, it's like 35 screenshots, so I'm trying to get through them, okay? All right, it's my bad. But we, we got, yeah. So I know some of these tweets is not like in perfect order, okay? Bear with me, right? Now, Camila, she said, what's all the beef for? And what won't be fair or funny? Talk your ish. Uh, y'all hoes love letting the comment ruffle y'all panties. Did I mention you? My comment was towards the episode like everyone else, and it seems like you want to be baddie MVP of the season. Well, I don't think she's going to be, honestly. So far, the only baddie I haven't seen get hate, I think Scotty. I think Scotty. That shit was a turnaround from last season, huh? Because it was the total opposite then. Okay, so then Jayla, she made a tweet. She said, girl, don't even get on the internet talking about knowing your word. When did you figure it out? Couldn't have been when you were sleeping with that lady husband and had a baby by him. And I called you a dizzy girl, not a ditzy girl. Camila, here you go, because I like to put an app on it just so there's never any confusion. Now go have the day you deserve, whore. She said, girl got on the internet trying to be cute, talking about who needs to learn something. Can we say loud and wrong? She was trying to be funny. Then I let it go because everyone can have an opinion, but ho, don't have the goal post and bring up something that's off topic because... Because of, if I do the same thing, it won't be even fair or funny. Okay, so that's what Camila was talking about. But Jayla said, y'all could tell when a hoe really, really been feeling away way and want to say something to you. Because what they did, because what did any of that have to do with the original topic? Like how we get on the subject of what happened behind closed doors. Girls been wanting to say something. Yeah, yeah I told y'all this shit took a left turn. It really did. Then Camila said, I can't wait to watch baddies with my opinionated ass laughing my behind off. Who going to be upset today? Now I'm trolling, okay? Then Camila said, I'm a dissy girl, but you was crying on the internet for help because you ain't being treated the same, et cetera, et cetera. You were OG being treated like a regular. Here's why you don't see me back because you can't treat me like nothing. I know my worth, the end. Jayla said, you know your worth, but you laid up and had a baby with a married man. You're the lowest level of scum, hogo playing traffic. Okay, then she said, girl, oh wait, Camila said, now Jayla, you and the rest of the girls can't find nothing else to say. Now Camila, babe, you just said y'all can't find nothing else to say when it came to the typo. Then she found something else to say. Now you're saying y'all can't find nothing else to say again. Okay, we're going to start over that tweet. Okay, so she said, now Jayla, you and the rest of the girls can't find nothing else to say, huh? It's always by my baby daddy. Stop d for that head buzz from all the pee you selling. You a whore in 2024. <laughs> My bad, that was funny, that was funny. She said, you a whore in 2024, a Zeus whore at that. Laughing my behind off, go sell that coochie girl. Oh, and me and the ex-wife besties. Are y'all? Y'all besties, the way you be dogging her husband on Twitter. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, just me going off of what Camila said, it sounds like this man is just a straight up asshole, especially with his daughter and shit like that. But it's like, like at the end of the day, you be talking shit about this lady husband and y'all besties. That's cute. Camila said, wearing all white like you holy. Now y'all know Jayla. 
is white everything with her. Um, Don't take your anger out on me. You thought you could punk big Gretch and she showed y'all she ain't backing down. Ha ha ha, that's my type of girl. Really, Camila? Don't get me wrong. Love that Gretch did not back down. Actually, kudos because you full like six girls in, in my opinion. But Camila, it's the fact that why did they attack her? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Camila said, y'all could never make me hate myself. We're dumb girls. 2024, you still making dumb decisions. Do better. Oh, and Jayla, since you like to put a name on it, like I said, you can't do nothing. You can't big dog me when you getting punked over there. Now, Jayla, she said, Camila, please shut the fuck up talking to me. Ain't nobody punking shit over here. You know better than that. You're literally obsessed with me at this point. Woo, you're, you're a bad-ass hater, a hater whore at that. I expected more from you, but it's a... It's a look in your eyes that says your heart ain't right. You have a jealous ass spirit. Work on that. All right. Waiting at home on the couch to watch baddies every Sunday just to tweet for attention. I pray to God I'm not shot out like you at your big age. Go get a hobby or a skill to occupy your time. You're worse than grade school kids that troll. At least they keep it spicy. Do better. You're already letting girls younger than you beat you up on TV, Bookie. What's next? Uh, trying to pick with me is not going to get you back on the show, sweet cheek. Go have the day you deserve. Jayla said, I don't keep up with you, ho. However, it's a known fact that you had a baby by a married ass man. You're more invested in me and what I have going on, uh, than I've been with you. Let's just be clear for a second. And nah, F you, scum of the earth, trash ass ho. I would say I'll see you around, but I'll never see ghetto gutter hoes like you at the places I go. Jayla said, never sold pee in my life. You can't find one person walking this earth to corroborate this. Again, on this internet worried about me loud and wrong. Who am I effing at Zeus? Please come with facts because next I'm going to have my attorneys on your... Okay, why you... You don't know my... Um, I play about a lot of things, but that's never been one of them. Come with receipts and expeditiously. Camila said, I know my wife ain't flying to Dubai getting shitted on in a jet. Y'all, she brought up Dubai. She brought up Dubai. Argument over. You know, Camila... I kind of like you for saying that shit. Not saying that it's true, but I'm saying, like, you got some balls to be saying that shit, but I'm just saying. Jayla said, girl, what? It's clear a girl like you ain't never been there because you know how far-fetched that stuff is. You are so jealous-hearted. Oh, I'm not far-fetched. I don't know about that one, Jayla. I don't... Everybody know about the Dubai, Dubai the just the rich people. I mean, everybody rich in Dubai, bro. Everybody got money. It's not far-fetched. I'm sorry. It's not... It's, this is not a secret. Jayla said, I got a trick for a girl like you. I'm going to show you better than I could tell you. Okay, so. Are we, we're threats? This is threats now? It's, it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of like, did that trigger something for you? Or <laughs> Camila said, you out here running around with NLE choppy young ass as a grown ass woman for likes and shit. Girl, you can't teach me a damn thing. Uh, but how not to be dumb like you. First of all, it's NLE choppa, not choppy. Okay. Two. That was months ago. I, is they still run? I haven't seen them together in a minute. And Jayla was like, it was never like a relationship type of thing. She said they was just cool. I don't, I don't know how true it is or not, but I'm just, I'm just telling y'all what she said. Okay, so um, fighting wise, one on one fair fight, no, no security breaking it up, nobody, ain't no chairs around, somebody, none of that. A hundred percent fair fight, one on one. Who do y'all got winning, Jayla or Camila? Also, one on one with this whole Twitter beef. Who do y'all feel like won? this argument who did the most dragon who do y'all think all right but yeah y'all that is it for this video so if you found it interesting and i hope you did at least a little bit please like comment subscribe share turn your post notifications on thank you